Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Jolder Public video and for this video I'm just going to be highlighting one item on the GTN that has been going for very affordable cheap prices and I think it is a great weapon to be equipped with Jedi Shadows and Sith Assassins and those are Electro Staffs. So if you go onto the Galactic Trade Network, you go on Melee Weapon, the subcategory is Electro Staff and the rarity is Custom. Okay, you want Custom Rarity because those will allow you to put the mods in them and so none of that green blue stuff will show up. And right off the bat, you can see some of these items going for super, super cheap prices. The Savage Raiders Dual Edged Vibra Sword is going for 1,000 credits, and it has a pretty neat design to it. It's got that laser sight, which is probably why it's going for so cheap. Not a lot of people like a laser sight on a sword. It doesn't really make sense to them, and I can't blame them. However, I quite like its design, and it's got these really nice blades to them, and only for 1,000 credits. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because... I feel as though some of the really nice double bladed lightsabers for the Jedi sh Shadows and Sith Assassins, like the Volatile Conquerors double, double bladed saber, uh, you know, the de Defiant Vented Unstable Arbiters, those are all really nice double bladed sabers, but they all sell for millions upon millions of credits. So what about those new players that just want a unique looking item, a really nice double bladed saber for their Jedi Shadows or Sith Assassins, they want to stick out from the crowd, but they don't have the millions of credits to do so. Well, I wanted to highlight Electro Staffs for anyone who does not know, because these Electro Staffs have some really nice models, very similar to the Vibrosaurs video I did. Recently, I put up a video called the best Vibrosaurs for under 500,000 credits, and the central theme of that video was there are some really nice models of these weapons on the GTN for very, very cheap prices that you can use to make your characters stick out, look different from the rest, have a very unique weapon associated with them, and so you can do that with Electro Staffs as well. Now, I showed you the, the Savage Raiders Dual Edge Fiber Sword, but just these Electro Staffs in general, they have very similar designs to each other, but they just have these small little variations. I'll show you, I'll show you three of them right now. So those are three quick designs of these Electro Staffs. As you guys can see, they have a general structure and model to them. They're just some small variations. So honestly, if you guys are interested in this model, jump on the GTN and take your pick. They're all at really, at really affordable prices, and you can just choose whichever one appeals to you. Here's another one, the DX2 Massive Electro Staff. And they all have just these small little des uh, de design changes to them. And personally, in my opinion, they all look pretty cool. Basically, you're just wielding a huge staff. Now one of my favorites, which I didn't show yet, was the Trimanthium Electro Staff, only 75,000 credits, and this one looks super nice. Personally, I love the way it looks, I love the blades at the end, I think it looks amazing, and that is what I would definitely wear if I was uh, using a Sith Assassin or Jedi Shadow as the main character. Like, I would definitely have one of these, they look super cool. A very unique looking model. And then as you go up in the pages, you'll see that it starts getting a little bit more expensive. You have things like the classic double-bladed Vibra Sword. Kind of just a nicer version of that Savage Raiders dual-bladed Vibra Sword I showed you guys. Without those laser sights and once again, very nice blades. And then finally we have obviously my personal favorite and probably a lot of people's personal favorite, the Fyra Electro Staff, which is 499,000 credits, so very, very expensive, much more expensive than the rest, but still at an affordable price. I mean, you could do one planet's worth of heroics, jump on Tatooine in a group of four, do all the heroics on the planet, take you around 30 to 40 minutes, and you'll rack up 500,000 credits, and you'll be able to buy one of these. This is what it looks like. It looks super cool. It's got that nice little blue uh, electricity animation. It's got these two blades that actually face opposite ends. Looks really cool and very popular as well. I've seen quite a few people using these for their Sith Assassins and Jedi Shadows. And yeah, if you guys want one of these, it's up on the Harbinger for 500,000 credits. Might be more expensive on different servers considering it is a pretty rare drop. Like it drops from mobs. On, on I don't know where it drops, but it does drop from a mob. And, um, and so yeah, it's not very common. As you can see, there's only one on the GTN right now, but it is at a pretty affordable price. Anyways, I just want to make this really short video to let you guys know about this. For anyone who perhaps does not know that these models do exist on the GTN, and if you have a Jedi uh, Shadow or Sith Assassin, and you want them to look different and stick out, and you don't really like the designs of the lightsabers that are available for you, you can get some really nice models and some really nice weapons out of these Electro Staffs, and they're all going at very affordable prices. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys found it informative, and I will see you in the next one.